Welcome to anterior cruciate and anterolateral ligament reconstruction using hamstrings and peroneus longus grafts. Authors have nothing to disclose. A single longitudinal incision of approximately 3 cm is made in the posterolateral region of the fibula over the peroneus longus tendon. Both peroneal tendons are then brought together in the most distal region of the incision using single sutures. After the tendons are unified with sutures, the peroneus longus tendon is incised, with the aid of a tenodum, removed to its proximal insertion, up to approximately 5 cm from the fibular head, avoiding any injury to the fibular nerve. The hamstrings grafts are folded to form a single quadruple graft. Subsequently, the peroneus longus tendon graft is incorporated into the flexor grafts without folding, forming a quintuple graft in the most distal region and a single, more proximal graft comprising the remainder of the length of the peroneus tendon. Reconstruction is performed through anatomical positioning to create the femoral and tibial tunnels. With the aid of radioscopy, the halfway distance between the Gerdes tubercle and the anterior eminence of the fibular head is found at approximately 1.5 cm from the articular surface. The skin is marked using a surgical pen before the procedure begins. At this point, a guide wire is passed through the tibia in an anterior direction and a bone tunnel. The single portion of the graft is passed freely through the tibial and femoral tunnels until the quintuple graft portion occupies both tunnels. Then, an interference screw is attached to the femur. The next step is to attach the lower end of the quintuple graft to the tibia. The remaining peroneus longus tendon is passed through the subcutaneous and ALL tunnel. The ligament is fixed under traction, mild valgus stress and 30-degree flexion. 